Yeah, hi there. These comments, I'm going to just use your initials, uh, PT. And the question here is, you say, I just received my TOEFL score. It was very terrible. I'm planning to take a course with you. I scored 83. So you're going in the right direction, right? So you got 23 points in the reading. You got 16 points in the listening. You got 19 points in the speaking and 25 points on the writing. So let's face it. Your writing and reading skills are strong. They're good. You're doing a great job with that. Now, your listening and your speaking skills, this is where you want improvement. So you want to get at least seven points higher, I think, on the speaking section. You want one point higher on the... You want actually seven points higher on the listening section than one point higher in the speaking. So your question is, is it possible to get that score within six months. Yes, it is. Basically, you want to go from 83 to 91 and you want to focus more in the listening and the speaking area. So here are my suggestions right now. You want to focus a lot on listening and speaking, am I right? Okay, number one, every day here's your first bit of homework. And I don't think this is going to take six months, by the way, at least I hope not. I think you should be able to reach your goal within about three months. That would be my guess. Okay, first of all, start practicing listening every day for about 45 minutes. 45 minutes to an hour, pretty good practice there. You can watch TV, English TV. You can focus on news, documentary history, and especially science programs. This is good. Now, as you do your listening practice, I want you to practice your note-taking. So you're focusing on the main and the most important supporting points of the listening passages and you're getting it down in note form. You want to start doing this every day. Now using your notes each week, I want you to do five oral summaries. Each summary should be about 60 seconds long and record your oral summaries. You need to get used to recording your voice and listening to your voice. Right, so start doing this every day for the next one to three months. You will get results. The main thing is you're consistent, you're doing this study every day. Now if you say, hey Michael, well, I don't really have English TV, there's no way for me to do your suggestion, well how about use the internet? I have three websites you can use which will help you with your listening comprehension. Number one, National Public Radio. Number two, Ted Talks. Number three, Randall's Cyber Listening Lab. Those are three great websites that you can use to begin practicing, I think, your listening comprehension. So already you're practicing your note taking, you're practicing listening, and you're also doing integrated speaking. Now, in addition to that, you should also start using my online TOEFL course. Now, of course, the main thing for you right now is I would focus on the listening and the speaking sections of my course and probably pronunciation so you should start posting practice tests immediately so I can start listening to your responses and I can start giving you comments so if you want to work on my website more to help you uh, I do have seven sections I have vocabulary pronunciation grammar I have listening reading writing and speaking sections for you vocabulary is I think very important. Uh, the listening section of my, te of my course is important for you. The speaking section of my course and also the pronunciation section. Now I'm guessing, I might be wrong, your name appears to be a Vietnamese name. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I think. Now if that's the case, Vietnamese speakers like Thai speakers and some people who come from Southeast Asia you're going to have a tough time with the pronunciation of the language. Now, it has nothing to do with, with how smart you are or how dumb you are. It has nothing to do with that. I'm just saying that Vietnamese, for example, and English, these are very different languages, especially with their intonation. And also in terms of pronouncing medial and final consonant sounds. So if your first language is Vietnamese, or it is a language from Southeast Asia, you're going to have to work especially hard on reducing your non-native speaker accent so you can speak more naturally.
and more fluently. So you have to be patient. It will take time, but you can and you will get results. All right, so those are my suggestions right now of some things that you can do. So if you have any questions, you can email me again. I'd love to have you as one of my students. Remember that in this video, I have given you simply suggestions on how you can use my online course based on the information you're giving me. Of course, you can use my course any way you like. Uh, you can focus on anything you like. You will have complete access, unlimited access, I might say, to all 700 of my lessons, 24 hours a day. You can do anything you want, anytime you want. One thing I recommend is maybe after a month or two, after you follow my plan for 30 or 60 days, maybe it's time to take a full-length IBT practice test. That way you can measure your results, you can see your progress, how close are you, for example, to getting 23 on the listening section, did you get 20 points on the speaking, and so on. So if you take a practice test, you want to go to the 8th, section of my course I do have at an additional cost I do have full length IBT practice tests that you can take and I think this is important for three reasons obviously you get feedback as to your progress you will see how where you are and where your score is number two you become more familiar with the structure and the format of the TOEFL exam number three you actually build some stamina and strength that you need to take a five-hour English test. That's not easy. So it's good to take some practice test before you take the real thing, and that's going to help you also. All right, PT? Anyway, thank you very much for your comments, and all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.